I'm just going to take a minute and explain to you guys why we chose to do the foundation in this design. Each foundation is dependent on how the land is shaped. If you have flat land, you can go with a slab. If you have sloped land, you can do concrete piers or pillars. You can do an ICF wall. There's a couple different options out there. It just really depends on the land and what's available in your area. On our land, the steep slope dictated the design of the house and the foundation. So our foundation, we have to do it in two phases due to the access of our land. We have limited space and limited access for large Larger equipment so we have to do the phase one of the foundation before we move on to phase two so the crane can come in and place the containers on the far side of the foundation so for our foundation we have ten pillars one footing one ledger for phase one and we have a slab and ICF wall for phase two our pillars are five to six feet into sandstone and uh, yeah they're really deep in there so I don't think they're going anywhere but this is why we didn't do a square footing because they're so deep into the sandstone and they're pretty solid. We chose pillars for the cost, the aesthetics, and the ease of setup. They were significantly easier to set up than the footing and the ledger and we just really like the look of them. Ours are quite large and uh, yeah they just look great. We love them. And without further ado here is the start of the excavation for phase one. Well now that I'm up and done whining about the morning, I will start to make coffee and explain what we're doing today. So today we are working on the foundation. We're not pouring or digging the for the pillars or anything yet. We just are mapping out where things need to go and we're kind of preparing the site to be dug out. So we have our excavator coming today and he is going to level out the bottom half of where the bottom of the house is going and I think that's it. And then we will prepare for when we get some dry weather to start to dig into the ground and do the pillars and the retention wall and everything like that. So step one, foundation. It's windy and pretty cold out so we're just gonna hop right in it and finish doing our measurements. We got our baseline right there, the peak line, and we're gonna measure out all the other parts that we need and uh, go from there. a little bit what we're doing behind me right there right there we have our markers for the house of the beginning measurements of where we're gonna have to do the pillars for the foundation foundation for the timber structure because we have stairs going in between our second and third level that's not a container and then down here where Mike is so accurately digging we have our first level which is two containers like like so sitting on pillars. But in anyways, we're doing the preliminary work for the foundation and uh, just doing what we can while the weather's nice because I totally jinxed it when I said uh, that winter wasn't so bad because it was pretty bad for a while but now it's fine. So little by little making it work and uh, yeah soon I think we'll 
do the, the holes for the pillars and create the rebar, get the concrete situated, and go from there. the manager to check on our, our work, what we're doing today. So we'll see what what she says about it. So we asked the manager uh, what she uh, thought of our job today and she told us that it's good and we should stop. So we're done for the day. So that was the first day of preliminary work for the foundation. So Mike will be back tomorrow to do some work, continue the project and uh, do the final touches before we move on with something else. So we did this second layer right down there where the excavators parked. And then we have to dig out on the side to make the pillar to hit the hard pan to drill into the ground. So tomorrow we'll have some more stuff to do. But for now, we're calling it a day. I'm gonna go take a little peanut on the beach and uh, enjoy the sunset. Another beautiful day on the Oregon coast. So I'm gonna take you guys around, show you what we've been working on. Pretty much just the foundation, but there's been a couple different parts. So if you come this way. You can see here that we've been working on placing the, the markers for the pillars and the footing, which is just below this uh, wall right here. We'll go down and show you. the ledger and the retention wall is going to be and this will house the foundation for the first level of containers this is the first row of 24 inch 
concrete pillars that we're doing. And then this is the second row of 24 inch concrete pillars that we're doing. Today is an exciting day because today is the day that we are going to start drilling the land. It's very exciting. We're exhausted as you can probably see <laughs> on my face, but you know, in times like that, you just gotta push through and get everything together and just work through it. So we got Mike here, working the skid steer, got the two foot auger, and uh, yeah, gonna do our best to drill these holes and set up for the foundation. We're just about done digging all the holes for the pillars to go inside. Mike and Vion back there working on the last hole. After I'll go through and show you, here's one hole right here. It is a huge difference when you have the, the right tools. The first one that we dug, the first hole, the machine that we used really couldn't handle it and that took us forever and we pretty much did nine holes in the time that it took us to do one hole for this guy right here, this one. So yeah, crazy. Good tools, save you time. So, we got two holes here, one here, one here, and they pretty much go, so I'm just gonna walk by, try to get them in the frame when I'm walking. is six feet this one is six feet actually these four right here are six feet wow. so this one and this Good one job. is six feet Woo. so there's another one you think so another one well did the water come These out? two, we ended up having uh, to dig more yeah. because the excavator, uh, the skids here couldn't no, fit no, the, one, no, one, yeah. the tracks close enough to, uh, to dig the hole. Yeah. So it ended up yeah, working. Here's another one. Well, and here's the last two right here. Right here and right here. So, and here's the finished product. 
lots of mounds of dirt. Oh, and the sun's coming out. Look at that. So there's the finished product. Ten holes at various depths, ranging from five to six feet. Next step will probably be to set up the footing, which is going to be right here. And then after, we'll place the rebar cages in the hole, set up the sono tubes, and uh, call the county to come inspect it. And then after that, we pour concrete. So exciting.